all right what's up guys it's troy d welcome back to the channel troy d 24 7 mall on point reviews all day every day and with no hype or at least no hype but i'm still excited about it you know what i mean like if you don't get my format then you're weird but anyways this is gonna be the biggest test of basically my whole reviewing career which is not so long actually it's been like four months uh four months ago nobody knew about me so in my short career this is going to be my uh very challenging task is to review this one right here which is bortnikov syat nova all right and i'm also going to dispel any type of rumors any type of thing that's being said about this and myself because uh, this involves my experience with uh, one of the perfumers, one of not the main perfumer, uh, Dmitry Bortnikov, but the other guy. So, but before that, <laughs> juicy stuff, let's hit the music. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back, and thank you for watching. Again, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Guys, this has been great, but I think this is going to throw a little wrench into your day. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of some juicy uh, drama, which, you know, it's funny. I never expected, but I kind of expected. I saw this coming because at some point when you are, you know, not... Uh, what do you call that I hate to say the term but um, not hugging there's another term for that that my boy Mason told me but when you're not not hugging a certain thing or a certain brand or a certain perfumer uh, you know this tends to happen anyways this is Syat Nova which uh, which came out I think in limited quantities I forgot how many bottles came out and uh, I'm going to objectively review this, okay? Uh, with no hype, you know, even if there's a lot of uh, hype about this. But before that, I got to tell you guys a really quick story about this, okay? So, the the the, the thing, the beef, or sort of like, <laughs> it, it, the issue I have, right? The issue I have is not actually with Dimitri, okay? It's with the other guy, uh, his name is Rajesh, okay? But let me tell you the story and you guys can backtrack this all the way to my beginning videos, okay? So what happened was, okay, in the beginning, I was so excited, right, to do this. I was so excited to branch out to uh, the exotic side of things. Because actually, I'm not, I would say, like a 100% believer in the exotic sense. You know, the really exotic slash expensive sense, you know. Um, I have a lot of Arige Lidori here that, you know even to this day i'm like how the heck did i even buy that like it just I, I i can't stand it and and people are like trying to sell it like at ridiculous amounts and you know people are kind of eating up the hype um and as you guys know like arige like one of my favorites is russian oud but you know besides that the other ones that i had are kind of you know i couldn't even use it right so you know even before i was always kind of skeptical of the kind of like these brands that are like all natural uh all all high prices jacked up like crazy uh always been skeptical about that you know and it's, it's just the gut feel that's always like assisted me when i've done these types of you know these reviews right so anyways um and as a as a new member of fragcom you know i was like i was very like engaging and until now i engage a lot i engage a lot on the facebook groups and all that so the first thing i did was this had nothing to do with rajesh this had something to do with ensar Ud and um ensar Oud released this thing called tiger lust you know and subsequently he also released this thing called crime and punishment which rajesh was beefing with him on okay uh but when when ensar Oud released tiger lust uh rajesh was one of those first people that said you know it's not worth the cost it's not worth the price you know uh you're overcharging people yada 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 um and so you know at that time you know i i knew when i saw it i was like oh this guy i didn't even know who he was i didn't even know if he was a perfumer or not uh didn't know anything i was like oh look at this like jolly faced guy he's got this jolly smile on his 
I don't know who he is. Yo, matter of fact, guys, now that we have all these followers and like you got to see like my friend requests, it's like crazy. And some of them are actually perfumers, like niche perfumers that like, actually adding me. And I'm just like, whoa, I, I, I mean, I have to research names to even approve them, you know. So anyways, uh, Rajesh, I didn't know who he was, like zero. <laughs> OK. And um, when I said I saw so I threw this bait out there and I said, like, you know, um, does anybody have Ensar Ud Tiger Lust? OK. And uh, you guys know. I'm one of only two videos out there. So that's how like, you know, like all these, these brands, like they have their own little kind of groupies, but it's not really as mainstream. You know what I mean? Like if I, it, like if you, we talk about Zhirjov, Killian, like it's a huge, huge, you know, it's a huge, huge clout. And matter of fact, even just me talking about this, even me just bringing it up or putting that name on the channel is actually going to help them. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways throughout the i was like hey who's got tiger lust any sample so, name sounds sick i see this random dude rajesh hating on uh, the guy okay so again i don't know who rajesh is so guess who hits me up first it's gotta be rajesh you know what i mean so rajesh hits me up first he goes yo i will send it to you for free so i'm just like free that's really nice i was like that's amazing i was like dude thank you so much okay now normally when people are kind of kind like that you know i add them on the facebook because i want to become their friends i was like this is really nice um i shot him like maybe i wasn't so sure if it was the button being wrong but every time i shot a friend request this guy kept freaking like denying it right so i was like all right you're a private guy i get it <laughs> all right you maybe but again i don't know who he is so fast forward and we have like this um these two vials here but there's more there's like four uh, you can see it on the tiger lust video so fast forward so i got the tiger lust which is this uh, i mean it wasn't nothing it was basically like like this much i made a review on and there again there's only two reviews on tiger lust crazy uh and then i see this all right uh keman and then I see uh, there was another one, Haksan, and there was another one, okay? And actually, they were all leaking, and I wanted to show you guys this. Wait, this is... <laughs> so tied up. They all they all came with these, uh, these papers, right? So, there you go. All right, they came in these uh, little, little papers here. All right, so that's, that's one for Kema, and as you can see, it was leaking right here. All right. Uh, just gonna put that there. So the first was Keman, then the second was uh this one right here, uh, Arananka, Arianka. Okay, that's two. And then that that was the Haksan, right? Okay. All right, that's three. Okay, plus the vials, plus the Tiger Lust that I was like. I was like, you know, uh, man, where can I put this? It's more publicity for Rajesh. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I got all of this stuff, right? It was like supposedly more vials. It's, it's four in total. I couldn't find it anymore. But anyways, I got all of this. It's, imagine the shock, right? So I, I'm expecting like, and you guys know, like a lot of, you know, our viewers, a lot of viewers, they send perfumes to me. That's not, that's a fact, right? Um, because you know they they want me to try on what they're excited about so so i was thinking that it was the same thing because i i just expected tiger lust uh then i get all of this and then you know it it turns out that you know rajesh rajesh is a perfumer okay so i'm like just imagine you got to put my put yourself in my position you know I was like, oh, I was so excited, you know. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a perfumer. I know a perfumer, and apparently he's done all these like, you know, really great stuff that you know I never heard of. Okay, and uh, so I was like, wow, thank you, you know. Of course, like if you're in my position, you'd be like, oh, thank you so much. Um, so, anyways, this was before he had left 
to Thailand to do Syat Nova, okay? So this was before all of that. So again, to a lot of people that just want to assume the story, you know, you got to see where it comes from, all right? Because like I have no <laughs> I have no vested interest in anything other than really doing my reviews, which is like fun for me, okay? Uh and don't be saying that, you know, I, I wanted a free bottle if I could afford, I mean, all of these things, you know, I mean, that's that's nothing, right? If you guys know where Troy D247 Mall comes from, you know, this perfume stuff is just, no matter how high the price, it's minute to the stuff that I'm in. So, uh, sorry, but I have to say that out there for a lot of people. But um, anyways, so we got the we got this and I was like, thank you so much. And then he starts hyping it up. You know, he starts telling me that, you know, the vial you have cost fifteen hundred dollars in the black market. You know, uh, he goes, you know, it's sold out. There was only like 30 bottles ever made. And he kept repeating it like a few times because, I mean, I just wanted to be friends with the guy. I, I You know, I mean, I understood that. I understand hype. That's where I come from. That's why. I have no hype reviews because I come from the hype community and uh, you know the guy the guy kept going on and on about how uh, Keman was so freaking um, rare and it cost a thousand dollars blah 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 and you know I was like oh he's he's doing like a sales pitch I was like I get it okay he wants me but I, I, I don't know him you know what I mean like at that time I was like I don't know anything about him this is the first time I ever heard of these a matter of fact, again, they are exotics. As you know, they come from like that sort of like lineage, you know, Ensar, you know, uh, Arij, Rajesh, you know, like they, uh, you know, they all kind of smell very, 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 very exotic. I mean, you just look at, let's see, you know, Arananka, which I also liked actually. You know, this is Indian forest mysticism. You know what I mean? And for those that follow me, you've been following me for a while. It's like, you're not going to get me to just buy into, you know, Indian forest mysticism, you know, out of nowhere. You know what I mean? So anyways, at that time, uh, you know, I was still building a lot of my collection. And uh, I smelled them. I smelled them objectively. Uh, this is the one that he was really pushing hard on me. It was Keman. See right here? That's That's from Rajesh. He was pushing that hard. He was saying that that was the rare one. And he was like, you know, I have one bottle left. You know, there's one bottle left, Troy. If you want it, go get it, you know. But he goes, you have to buy it before a certain date. I was like, well, why? And, he, and then he goes, well, that's because I leave for Thailand to, to go with Bortnikov. Because we're going to go make that. The, of course, there was no name back then. But we're going to make a perfume. So I was like, I was like, and it was only like maybe like four days away four or five days away and i was uh, and it was like uh 250 i think i think it was 250 and at that time i had been aggressively building my collection uh, with other things that i was pretty sure of right and so i was like oh i don't know man 250 and i smelled it and of course it's got the yuzu but i, I was like man too f exotic i was like I i'm not sure if i want to like get an exotic right now uh, i'm not sure so I kept telling him, I was like, you know what, man, like, you know, because you're so nice to me or whatever, you let me this, this tiger lust, which is like, like what, two drops of tiger lust. I was like, why don't I just buy it from you when you get back? Right. So I was like, obviously, you're going to come back to America. You know, might as well, like, you know, buy it from you. Um, and he's like, no, 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 it has to be before that date. And there's only one left. So. You know, to me, like, my gut feels pretty strong about people, man. You know, it's like, like I said, this isn't my first rodeo. I mean, I've spent 10 years in the hype industry where you have a lot of really, you know, a lot of guys that try to push this kind of stuff, right? So, but it's perfume. See, it's kind of different, you know? So, anyways, uh, the closer it got to that date, you know, it just kept coming back at me. And the thing that I saw, though, was that, there were other people at that time thanking him like he was selling more than one you know uh, like five he was selling like a lot to a bunch of guys and I got a bunch of guys of course were so like freaking you know i guess they knew him and they were like so happy they're like oh thank you for selling this to me for blessing me with this uh 
uh, D. Sir Kemen, oh my God, you know, you're the best, you know. But I understood that, you know, he needed the funds to, to you know, to when he goes to Thailand. I totally understand, but at the same time, like, dude, nobody's going to push me to pay 250 you know, just because, like, especially if there's no history i don't i don't know you you know what i mean uh, i don't know any history i don't you know i just don't do that you know i just won't spend 250 even if i can even if i have you know thirty thousand dollars to spend i'm not gonna drop it you know 250 just like that so anyways uh fast forward you know i just apologize i said roger i can't buy it you know just uh other things came up and uh you know he said it's all good right so you know so that was that and i you know i told him i was like you know i'm gonna review this deezer anyways you know and i I thought that this was the most wearable but there were other scents that really they were cool too like uh the uh the haksan i mean those were all those were all like really you know exotic scents you know but i couldn't really apply it so that's why i couldn't just drop it like i don't care how much you say it's, it's like rare you know what i mean so um, before Syed Nova came out, so he came out and he said, you know, uh, this is what's coming out. So he you know, told me, he goes, Troy, this is what's coming out. You know, he's like, get ready, right? So, you know, he goes, this is it. This is what's coming out. So at that time, we were still cool. Now, when it came out, everybody knows, man, like that's when the COVID thing happened. You know what I'm saying? That's, I mean, that's like quite possibly the worst timing you could ever do on a release is during the covid you know where people actually are losing their jobs people are going like you know unemployed and of course they got families to feed and stuff like that and uh, that's when it came out that's when this Syat nova thing came out right and you would need like really a lot of like you'd say people on crack right you would need like some fans on crack to really make it happen you know what i mean to really make it happen um for for it to sell out you know you gotta have all these you know fans really go wild and crazy and you know not think about their finances you know and just 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 swipe it you know and i had a feeling when it came out because i i know lucky oud came out before that and i wasn't impressed with that one like i i was there myself at uh, scent bar you guys know scent bar is just like a few miles away from me you know what i mean it's nothing it's like what five six miles away so you know i went to scent bar myself and the lucky oud i was like ah no and it was like 350 i was like get out of here i had a feeling that at this covid time right i was like oh man i know they're gonna drop it at an expensive like not even close to you know the other colognes you know uh, it's not gonna be a what do you call this it's not gonna be a altruistic one you know, this ain't going to be altruistic at all. You know, I knew it. You know, I was like, ain't going to be that. Because, you know, when it released, I remember like, I remember Rajesh was saying like, you know, at this time, you know, this this time of, of hardship, let me let me give you guys some positive vibes by releasing this. But at the same time, I was like, ain't no positive with 350. You know what I mean? So, I mean, to me, like, you know, it seems like he's a pretty humble guy. Matter of fact, when... Uh, this thing sold out you know the thing he said was that he he wrote this like really long post about like how everybody's kind of hard hit and he can't believe that you know people are supporting him at this time and he was so thankful and matter of fact he offered like all these like you know free dhl whatever so you know dimitri to me like you know struck me as like that kind of you know that that's the guy that i was following to begin with not rajesh you know that's the guy that that's the reason why I bought all those Oud Monarchs and Oud Maximus. Like, I actually liked the guy. And even when I started, he was one of those guys that actually promoted some of my videos, right? So, anyways, uh, so I skipped that. And, of course, the, uh, the, 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 the board huggers are, like, just, go, you know, going crazy about this. They got it. They're like, oh, it's 350 It's sold out, you know. Um you know anyways it 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 came out and i was like oh fudge 350 you know what i mean and at that time like i said the covid thing happened and you know i wasn't gonna drop that you know like for sure like it doesn't matter even if you hype it a million times like maybe some people out there you know they're cool with that but no i mean i have a family i you know i gotta think of them first i'm not gonna just drop 350 at a very uncertain time 
so uh, I just I passed on it. It's no big deal, right? I like I passed on this damn thing, and uh, you know it sold out because they had enough. You know they had enough like people that were going nuts over it. You know because sort of like like Bortnikov is like you know kind of teetering between uh, kind of like where Arij is and people just trying to make it into like a Roja. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's it's a tough call, you know what I mean? Like, it, it there are, I mean, like there's a lot of boards that I love, but then when you start, if you squeeze me for like a higher price, I'm not so sure I'm gonna go there. You know what I mean? Uh, again, I'm not gonna include all these people that have so much money that they don't care about anything, right? I'm not gonna include you guys, but if you if you if you squeeze me for three fifty and it's like, you know, it's a board. I'm not so sure I would pay that, you know, just because of just where it's at. It's like, like I said, it's in between that Arige fan base, like super not so big fan base. They're crazy over it. And then, you know, trying to go to mainstream and then charge like a high amount. So it's, it's kind of it's kind of a tough thing. Anyways, so we're still good, right? So I skipped the Syat Nova. I'm totally happy. So here comes, you know, of course it sells out. Of course, the first person that really, you know, kind of brags about it is, you know who. It's our guy, Rajesh, right? It's not Dmitry Bortnikov. You know, matter of fact, Dmitry seems to me is a pretty humble guy. Matter of fact, when uh, this thing sold out, you know, the thing he said was that he, he wrote this like really long post about like how everybody's kind of hard hit and he can't believe that you know people are supporting him at this time and he was so thankful and matter of fact he offered like all these like you know free DHL whatever so you know Dimitri to me like you know struck me as like that kind of you know that that's the guy that I was following to begin with not Rajesh you know that's the guy that that's the reason why I bought all those Ood Monarchs and Ood Maximus like I actually like the guy and even when I started, he was one of those guys that actually promoted some of my videos, right? So, anyways, uh, so I skipped that, and of course, the uh, the 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 board huggers are like just go, you know going crazy about this. They got it. They're like, oh, it's three fifty. It's sold out, you know. Um, and all I really wanted to do was like review it, right? And so because it was like sold out, you know, there's two things that's gonna happen, right? Either I'm going to have to ask a friend of mine or a friends of mine who have it to send it to me or, you know, pay for it, which I won't do because it was like, like I said, 350 during COVID times or the easiest way is to hit up my buddy, quote unquote, buddy Rajesh, who obviously knowing that when he told me there was like one bottle of Deser Keman left and he sold five at the like same time couple days i mean i knew he had some i knew that they were there i'm not stupid i'm not you know i'm not a fanboy so you know i knew that he had something there i knew that he had a stash so that's why i hit him hard so hard and the fact that guys there at that time i don't care if you guys are so crazy over this thing there's only one review about syat nova you know and it was it was by mr niche guy which I'm all right with him. No, I mean, I, I've seen him before. But there's people hating on him too. But anyways, there's only one review. So I was like, I was telling Rajesh, I'm like, you know, this is kind of like an objective look. Like, just why don't you just send me like one of them, you know? Like, I know you have more than one. And of course, this guy's like, of course, because it's sold out. He's like, no, I don't have any. And matter of fact, check this out. He goes, matter of fact, I don't care because it's already sold out. As a matter of fact, I don't care if you review it or not, you know, because it, it's sold out. It's gone anyways. I've made my money, you know, and I was like, wow, geez. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what he said. You know, it's like, well, doesn't matter if you review it or not. It's like, I don't need your review because it's gone anyways. So to those that are, you know, just buying into hype, just know, guys, you know, the stuff that you know the 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 makers kind of think of you whenever this happens well you know i got a taste of it guys i got a taste of it on my end and i was like wow <sighs> wow rajesh i was like man all these guys are you know 
I'm sure a lot of them that dropped that 350 that day, they probably took a, a deep breath before, you know, punching in their card details and sending you their money. Um, and that's that's how you think. Like, uh, like, just like that. And so, you know, I was so, like, kind of upset because, you know, this is a this is like a person that kind of was like treating me for an idiot right and I, I was just like dude after all the previous stuff that i've seen you do right for the very sm like small amount of time i've known you like you know i i guess that's how you are as a person and so i just now nah, i just quit talking to the guy and from there on like i just i just you know i just moved on like you know i mean gosh like what 50 bottles later you know so it's like not a worry in the world about this stuff and like i said you know bortnikov you know although bortnikov does have you know some some solid solid base of fans it's not a lot of fans you know at the end of the day so you know i, I mean it, it's nothing to me you know what i mean yeah so to me like i don't know dimitri kind of like comes across as a very humble guy and you know i I like his style of how he even releases his stuff. You guys know I reviewed his fifth collection. Um, none of them are cheap. And, you know, what he does is he'll release, you know, kind of like these samples. Either it's a little sample set for $40 or at the most he'll release a 10 mil just so you can try it and you can get sucked in and you can like it to appreciate it. And I've done that through like Amber Cologne, Musk Cologne, uh, Oud Monarch, I've reviewed that, Oud Maximus, I've reviewed that. So, you know, this is the style that I, I kind of like with, with just purely Bort. But, you know, when I found out that, oh man, it's going to be a Lucky Scent exclusive, oh, it's going to be 350 And mind you guys, you know, for those guys that don't pay tax, I mean, here in the US, or New York, LA, I mean, we're paying so so much high tax that that 350 is actually like 390 You know what I'm saying? So it's it's actually way more than three fifty. So even if they put free shipping, I mean at the end of the day, it's still way way more because of the tax. Anyways, um, so that's the story behind that. And and now you know apparently the the thing that really changed the game was that this wasn't gonna be a whatever like a one wave thing. You know they you know apparently came out with us another wave another restock. And there's going to be more. And there's this whole thing about how the second and the third ones aren't even the same as the first one. So um, I'm going to leave that to you guys because it's, that's not my business. Um, but that definitely, you know, got some people not to like him. But what really ticked me off was that at the same time, he also re-released that that Deezer, <laughs> that 30 bottles of Deezer right after the Syat Nova, you know. So it's like a, it's like a cash grab, obviously, but um wow like one bottle left troy you know just remember just backtrack this story you know you can even watch my ensar oud video it's right there these vials are over there with the exact <clears throat> me thanking him but yeah i mean d sir Keman came out 30 bottles troy there's only one bottle left buy it no there's 30 plus more and the syat novas there's probably 50 to 100 more okay so you know just just hear out my perspective i know that i've been talking for a while but this is important because you know for anybody that that's misinterpreting things or don't know anything i've always said like you don't know half the story man so this is my story and take it for what you want um i'm not you know grabbing this because i'm so hyped about it and i'm paying for it matter of fact i don't want to pay for it i don't ever want to pay for it um and so luckily i have a friend uh, who's Mason uh who sent me this and uh mason mason his uh man what can i say man i mean he's such a, a a great guy we were just talking a few minutes ago about other perfumes and i was saying that you know people that gravitate towards these reviews or gravitates towards me and my choices like they have a lifestyle you know and mason mason's from new york he's you know he owns a few clubs and restaurants out there and uh so yeah this is I mean, guys, you know, it, it, the 350 hit to him ain't nothing, you know what I mean? But for me, talking to a, a lot of my, my my viewers, I know that that 350 wasn't nothing to you, you know what I mean? That when, when the COVID hit and you weren't so sure if you were going to keep your job and this came out at 390, you were probably breathing heavy before you swiped your card, 
you know and that's a fact that's why like i'm not just talking to the masons out there you know like there's a lot of people out there that i'm pretty sure like that's what they're pissed about they paid the three 390 and then they find out there's many more uh batches coming out you know what i'm saying so yeah that's my story take it for what you want but that's that's my story okay so let's get into the fragrance okay so let's look at the presentation guys okay presentation wise it's a1 from board you got the card right here okay you got you know a nice display great for great for collectors uh this right here is the second batch by the way okay this is the disputed second batch uh with this juice right here it's up to you guys to check out the color you know but uh this is the disputed second batch that they say is nothing like the first batch you know i don't know i'm this is to me this is still the syat nova so i'm just gonna review it we're gonna do a spray okay there you go nice sprayer um so so this one right here is a gourmand that i would say uh opens a little bit differently than the others that you've probably tried uh some gourmands that have uh vanilla cinnamon uh tobacco you know you, i mean the, the 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 blend of the gourmands with other things um i would say that this one smells a little bit differently uh this one has rum this one has rum in it okay and so just smelling it right here you know um there's only a tinge of that it's like i can't even really say it's boozy but there's a tinge in there that changes the whole scent um it is mostly mostly vanilla mostly you know um it's this has been called the vanilla bomb because it's a lot of vanilla okay it's a lot um there is some signature exotic side of it which you know as you can tell these are like the ouds you know the laos oud the bengal oud oud from trat um and and there it it's almost like it just it lingers but is not like presenting itself as oud it's just oud that kind of lingers out there that you know it's an exotic um but not too exotic by the way because again the vanilla here just takes over i mean it's probably 95 percent of the perfume okay so this one right here i would say for vanilla lovers if you like vanilla then most likely you're gonna like this Sayat nova okay mostly vanilla 95 percent probably oud again is there not because of like the oud properties of it but just like to make you feel like it's a bort you know to make you feel that it's an exotic scent or partially an exotic scent is it an exotic scent uh yeah kind of there, there's still like an earthy component into it uh that makes you you know makes you feel like you know it is exotic there's there there's there's that non how do you call it non city like lifestyle like you know component to it very earthy takes you to you know the jungles of somewhere Th thailand whatever but mostly vanilla right and so that's why when you spray this on yourself um for those that have owned this one right here um you will you will get a feeling of like vanilla but partially it's like where am i you know vanilla and where am i <laughs> you know you know and this is something that you know rajas dash you know that's that's his style you know um like i said I, i'm not here to bash his perfumes like i've tried keman deezer i've tried haksan and a lot of it is uh, very like teleportational they take you to places they take you to like a mystical yeah i can even show you like i said it'll take you to a mystical place right see aranyaka takes you to an indian forest so i mean this is i guess the signature of the perfumer it takes you to where it's not like you don't really you can't just go and box it in as like Oh, it's a vanilla scent that I already know. It's a vanilla scent I already own. Because the ouds kind of remind you that it's not. You know? It really it really reminds you. Now, the apricot is there. And that's what maybe uh, makes it even more unique than what it is. It's just the apricot. Um, I would say this is maybe the 10% out of the, you know, out of the 100%. Let's say it's like apricot 10 10% ouds and then 
yeah, let's just balance it properly. 80% vanilla, 10% oud, 10% apricot. Okay, does that sound fair? Um, the apricot here is, uh, you know, you can really smell it, but um, it's it's just all right. Like I, I can't really say that. Oh, and this is the thing that when I when I got this, I was like, really? Like people are really like going gaga over apricots. Like why can't they just go to a Walmart and smell an apricot, right? But actually, this doesn't have the apricot as like the main player. The apricot is kind of like a 10% player. Basically, it's an attempt to make the vanilla smell something else, you know? Make this vanilla bomb smell something else as much as they can with the apricots uh, as well as the ouds to, again, give you that exotic feel. And uh, But at the end of the day, it's still 80% vanilla. So that is something that you can expect um, with Sayat Nova. 80% vanilla. If you hate vanilla, you might not like this. Uh, but if you're open to vanilla, you like vanilla scents, then I think you might like this Sayat Nova. Okay. Um, performance is good. Performance is decent. Um, is this something that I would wear, I guess, here in Los Angeles? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure because there is, like I said, that exotic component. But if you like exotic scents, this is something that's even like therapeutic for you. Um gourmand scents are therapeutic for you then definitely try it but um for me like i can wear this but um it's it's it depends it depends i would say maybe i would say maybe in the winter time i would wear this summertime definitely not but winter time i would definitely wear this um but not a hundred percent okay and my point is is that you know this should be released like a board you know, this should be released like a board. I shouldn't be like one of only two reviewers or three reviewers reviewing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, this should be available as a sample form. Uh, so, board, uh, Dimitri, if you're watching this, I think you should release this in sample form so people can appreciate it more and you can really see who will buy it, you know, based on what the smell is versus like all just the hype or all the pressure to buy it. Um, and is it worth now the question is like is it worth like the 350 um if this was like 220 if this was priced the same way as like the moss cologne and the other ones like maybe i would maybe i would buy it at 220 just to add my as my collection as another gourmand um because it is kind of like a different gourmand definitely different um and it's all right. It's all right. I, ca I can't say anything bad, actually, you know, uh, other than if you hate vanilla and, you know, you you hate the price, then maybe that's where all the hate comes from. But other than that, like, you know, smell wise, it's fine. Performance wise, it's fine. Um, and I guess if you own this, right, because a lot of people within the board group or the, you know, kind of the exotic scent community, uh, regard this as like hype you know I mean you can still kind of like kind of like pawn this for something else you know at some point so um, if you can get it at a great price then get it you know because at some point there's going to be a crazy person that's into this and then you'll be able to sell it for like I don't know uh, a higher price or you can trade it for something you want you know but uh, it's not bad it's not bad at all um, actually uh, objectively after even after what I've said about Rajesh um, this is a gourmand vanilla bomb with a little bit of exoticness a little bit of oud and a little bit of uh apricot to just make it smell a little bit more differently okay that's what sayat nova is again i'm not a branding type of guy like you can say whatever you want about the name and the whatever but i'll go for the juice and i'll tell you what's in the juice so that's what it is okay all right that's it oh man thank you guys for for being with me here thank you for uh, sharing your time with me thank you to all the uh curious people you know if uh, you had any prejudgments about what i had to say like just remember guys like four months ago i didn't exist <laughs> you know <what> I, mean? <laughs> I had nothing to do with the fragrance community i just i was just a guy with a collection and until now four months later man to be honest i have no vested interest in any of this like i just want to deliver the goods i just want to tell people what it smells like but you know this is perfumery and like i really don't like pressure sales tactics you know what i mean like that's just not me um especially that a lot of the you know perfume clients here are buying other perfumes and um 
nothing comes cheap, you know, to anybody. You know, it doesn't matter if you're Mason with all the restaurants or, you know, nothing comes cheap, you know. So I just want to make sure you guys know the full story. I appreciate you guys for being here. All right. So, again, don't forget to subscribe, guys. That's all I'm doing, you know. And we'll have more stuff. I mean, we'll have Moss Cologne, which is a pure Bortnikov release. That's going to come soon. Hopefully, he ships it ASAP. So I can bring that to you guys. Um, and yeah, enjoy guys. Again, watch the videos. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys very, very soon.